As we discussed in the female Nidoran video, the Nidoran line relies on some very tropey and often very human sexual dimorphism for its variety, which is a bit tedious, but given the Nidoran was the only line to do this at all for like three generations, okay, fine, didn't want to reinvent the wheel there, I guess. Male Nidoran stand apart from their female counterparts, first of all, by being bright purple, which is how you know they're a poison type. Besides that, they're also just sharper. They have more spikes, they have longer spikes, their heads are more angular, their claws are pointier. Overall, they come off as more dangerous and aggressive than the female Nidorina, which, again, is all very baby's first sexual dimorphism character design, honestly. The transition through Nidorino into Nido King, though, is relatively smooth, bridging the gap between small poison rodent and giant rhino dinosaur fairly smoothly, and where Nido Queen got titties and bikini markings, Nido King goes a little bit more subtle, merely receiving fully human-like pectorals, which is kind of funny. All my criticisms aside, though, both Nidoran final forms look like cool-ass kaiju, and that does count for something. Subscribe to this channel for more reactions and hot takes, or head on over to my main channel for longer in-depth videos.